Welcome back to Get Down to Business, the show all about small business jobs and entrepreneurship. I'm thrilled to be rejoined by our returning guest and the expert on everything real estate for this program. That's Laura catcherbone Gerace. And Laura, welcome back to the program. Thanks so much for joining us. Oh, thanks so much for having me. Absolutely. You know, it's uh, it's starting to very much feel like the holidays. Um, it's uh, I, I, I was uh, outside the other day and I was actually absolutely freezing ahead. my uh, my tushy off. And I was thinking, gosh, I know that there's a lot of stuff that happens in the real estate world as well around this season. So that's why I wanted to, ch- again, be joined by Laura catcherbone Gerais from Caldwell Banker, Stafford Place. And uh, Laura, so let's talk about what winter means for real estate, good or bad. You know, it's a little bad and still good. Um, it it gets real. It does get slow. You have less traffic when you have a listing. There's less people coming through. But here's the thing: the people that are out there looking, they're serious buyers. They're not looky loose. They need to buy something. People still get transferred during the holiday season. People still, you know. Stuff happens. Uh, People, unfortunately, die, get divorced. Um, All those reasons for selling a house. And that happens during that time. So so it's still, it's it's just a little bit slower, but it's it's not. I I sold the house one time on Christmas Eve. For real. (laughs) That's amazing. That's amazing. (laughs) So again, I love that. No, people are very serious when they, when they want to, when they want to move on a property, they want to move fast. And that's why I know you literally take calls at all all hours of the day and night. And again, one thing that we have said repeatedly on this program is that the difference between you and everybody that's out there is your focus on your customers. So Laura, I mean, we're a practical show, as you know, bottom line, if somebody it needs something right now in the real estate world. They should not push it off and, and wait until after uh, until after New Year's. Is that right? If you're a buyer, you especially shouldn't push it off because one of the best times to buy real estate is between Thanksgiving and the Super Bowl. And I know that sounds bizarre, but the day after the Super Bowl is when our spring market starts. And in between that That's- time... Is a slower that get great deal, great deal because those sellers also when they're still on the market during that time they want to sell. So what are the the kind of things that folks can do? Obviously, in addition to working with you and your team, what are some of the things that that folks can do and should be sort of uh, getting, if they're getting into the zone and starting to make a decision like that, what are some of the things that can make sure that they're going to be positioning their property for success or or perhaps on the the buyer side uh, to make sure that they are going to be uh, a competitive buyer in this time of year? Continue. So as a seller, I actually have two books that... um, that I have available to clients, one for buyers, one for sellers. And these are some of the things that that's talked about in them. And, it, and, and just so we're clear, it was a book that um, I put together with a company that gave me the content and I picked what I wanted in it. So I'm not an author. So I just want to be clear on that. But the ideas are definitely things that I stand by. But so as a seller, I think one of the most important things is You know, you don't have to remodel your kitchen and remodel your bathroom to put your house on the market. But, you know, a fresh coat of paint goes a long way. You want to declutter. You want, you know, I see pictures of listings. I just saw this the other day. I don't even know why the agent put it on the Internet. There's just every, the beds weren't made. There was, you know, things thrown all over the place. The counters were completely cluttered. You can't even see you know, when you're, when you're, when you're putting your, 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 your place on the market, your best foot forward needs to happen right at the beginning. So just small things like that. I mean, I tell my client, I don't even care if you clean the counter, put it all in a box. And when I'm done having pictures taken, you can put it all back out for all I care. But as long <laughs> as the buyers that. can see what it could look like, that's what we're looking for. So that's the most important thing really to a seller is, just small things like that. You know, a crazy thing like your front door, when somebody pulls up to your house, it should look inviting. 
if your front door looks a mess, then don't make it look a mess. Make it look nice because that's their first impression. And the rest of the impression goes through through the house. So that's for I love it, especially this time of year, especially this time of year, Laura. You know, everybody wants to, uh, like you said, they're no lucky lose. Somebody's uh, if somebody's moving, they want to they want to move on it really quickly. And that's why they need to talk to you. Um, and uh, you have been in this business for a while. Uh, and uh, that's your uh, that's uh, let's go with the station identification over here for a moment. Laura Cat- Canterbury Gerace um, from Coldwell Banker. You are the expert in the Chicagoland market. And uh, you have demonstrated that by talking about how folks, uh, again, can utilize this time of year actually to really, really uh, be able to move forward with their uh, with their sale, their purchase. Laura, how can folks get in touch with you? Oh, easy. 708-212-4905 is my phone number. And we always laugh about my email. It's S like Sam, P like Peter. It actually stands for Stratford Place. S-P Laura, L-E-U-R-A at AOL.com. And I love that AOL. Laura Cashmudger-Race, she has been in this business for so long. She has an AOL address, and that's why you need to speak to her. Laura, thank you so much for coming on the program. Happy holidays to you and to your team. We'll talk to you real soon. Thank you.